Welcome back, everybody, to the Montana State Dynasty on NCAA Football 06. We had two players visit us in last week's loss. First, wide receiver Josh Johnson. He just gave us a soft verbal, but we did move to number one on his list. Meanwhile, nothing has changed for strong safety Travis Thompson. Of course, we got the biggest game of the year now, taking on our biggest rival in the Grizzlies. They're starting quarterback Mike Hall, injured and out for today's game, so they're going to have a true freshman quarterback out there. We did lose to a true freshman quarterback, backup quarterback, last week, so we we got to take him seriously still. We, we learned that the hard way against Sacramento State a week ago. We are unfortunately on a two-game losing streak after starting off the season 9-0. and uh, Big upset against Portland State. And then last week, Sacramento State beat us. Now we are unranked going into this game. Meanwhile, Sacramento State is up at number 22 now, which is where we were before we lost to them in that game. So now in Missoula, Montana, the Grizzlies are having a rough season. They are 3-7 and seven thus far, but honestly, after the last two weeks, I got to take them seriously. They could definitely beat us. I don't know how we got to 9-0 and then just fell off a cliff, but that's exactly what we have done. A big thing here, we just can't turn the ball over. I think if we avoid turnovers, we have a good chance at winning today's game. We're going to win the coin toss, and we choose to defer. Here's a direct snap to Heron. He's going to take it on first down, gets tripped, but moves the chains with the first play from scrimmage. Nice start to the drive there. Now they're going to fake the run. Wheeler's going to dump this off in the flat to his running back, but he steps out of bounds and loses a couple of yards. Second and long after that big mistake, Wheeler's got himself some wheels, and he's going to use them across midfield. The 40! Brought down at the 30-yard line. A huge run by the backup quarterback, Brandon Wheeler. Thought about maybe passing it for a second there, but he said, no, nah, I'm going to use my 85 speed and pick up over 30 yards on the ground myself. There, that's going to put him out to the 29-yard line. Now going to the end zone, but it's going to sail out of bounds there. Brendan Wheeler is kind of your stereotypical mobile quarterback. He's got a nice strong arm. He can run, but he definitely lacks in the accuracy department. That was a nice throw on second down. That's going to pick up five yards. Going for six on third down, and you see that inaccuracy on that play. And they're going to have to settle for this field goal. It's going to be a 41-yard attempt, so definitely not a chip shot, but he's got it, and the Grizzlies are going to be on the board first. Montana State with the football on their own 22-yard line. Stevens to throw on first down. A bit too far for Larry Lane. Stevens to throw it again on second down. This time over the middle, but his pass will be broken up by the linebacker. MSU facing an early third down now. Stevens to throw for the third time today. This time he connects with Martin Anderson. An early third down conversion here for the Bobcats. An option play now. Stevens is going to keep it, and he'll, he's, he's going to pick up seven yards there. Second and three. Here's another pass play over the middle, caught by Martin Anderson. That pass wasn't even intended for him. It was actually for Larry Lane, but I guess his inaccuracy kind of worked out for him there. Off his back foot downfield now, looking for Larry Lane again. Two defenders there, though, to break that up. Here's a run by Vince Robinson. His first of the ball game. It's going to pick up about four. Third down now for Montana State, throwing to the left, and we've got Ben Collins. Nice catch there by the freshman tight end, and that will give us another third down conversion. But then on first down, we have another pass batted down, looking for the tight end again. Here's a run by Robinson, trying to cut it outside. That does not work, though, as he gets brought down for a loss of four. Here's a high snap and a quick throw on third down. He had Anderson open, but he threw it behind him. And that was long field goal range. We didn't have the wind in our favor there. So I'm just going to choose to punt. And we do pin them inside of their own 10-yard line. Second down after that incomplete pass. Here's Jenkins picking up a first down. Gets some nice yards after the catch there for a total of 13 and a fresh set of downs. Play fake, and Wheeler's going to use those wheels again. Another first down there. We've definitely got to put a spy on him at almost all times. This is, that's really his strong suit. Trying to run again. He's not going to get it. The big defensive tackle brings him down for a loss of five. 
Second and long, he's going to fire off his back foot downfield in and out of the hands of his intended receiver. Great job there by the defense. Third and long now, and Wheeler's going down. In comes Anthony Ross, the safety in on the blitz there. That's going to make it fourth and 21, and of course the Grizzlies are going to punt. In the second quarter now, Larry Stevens wants to throw on this next Bobcat drive. Over the middle, caught by Aaron Martin, who hasn't had a huge role in the offense this season, but when he's made catches, he's made them count. He has, I think, three touchdowns on just about seven or so catches this season, so he's definitely had an impact this season. Now airing it out for Larry Lane, who comes back for it, makes the catch at the one-yard line. Wasn't able to get the ball into the end zone, though. Inches away, and Stevens' pass on first down is going to be broken up. Second and goal. We're going to give it to Robinson, and the true freshman is in for another touchdown. I think that's about his eighth on the season now, and it doesn't get a whole lot easier than that. Just a couple inches to go. He didn't even pick up a whole lot, but he got in there for six. Montana State now has their first lead and points of the ball game. The Grizzlies are going to run it on first down with Heron, and he's going to pick up a solid game. They're making a second in inches, but then they're going backwards on second down. It's Brock Eugene on the cornerback blitz, and Wheeler just didn't see him whatsoever as he came from behind. A high snap on third down over the middle into heavy traffic. Several receivers and defenders there. Fourth and three, and the Grizzlies go three and out. Larry Stevens on this ensuing Bodcat drive trying to extend our lead, but that's not a good start there as Collins drops it. Vince Robinson right up the gut, and he's going to pick up just about two or three yards. An early third down, and another third down conversion for the Bobcats. Larry Lane on the slant route making the catch. Very pass heavy so far today. Now we're going to set up a screen for Vince Robinson. He's going to pick up seven or eight yards there. Less than two minutes to go in the half now. Stevens wants to throw. He's going to th try to throw to Larry Lane, who is kind of just running underneath, but he changed his direction at the last second. You can't do that to me, man. Over the middle on third down, though. We convert yet again. It's Martin Anderson continuing his breakout season, getting out to the 26. Here's a draw for Vince Robinson. Five yards on that carry. Just about a minute left to go in the half now. Stevens wants to throw for it. He's got his fullback in the flight who makes the catch, makes the first man miss, and gets brought down just shy of the 10. Our eighth first down of the game already now. Stevens to throw underneath. He's got Lane who turns it upfield. Touchdown, Montana State. Larry Lane has had a spectacular sophomore campaign this season, and he's in the end zone again for what, I mean, could have been his second touchdown. Obviously, it's only his first. He got pretty close earlier today, and uh, he does a great job here turning it upfield, picking up five more yards to get a touchdown. Only 30 seconds left to go in the half. Wheeler's going to run here. He's going to pick up about 9 yards, and the Grizzlies are going to use their first time out. Spreading things out on second down. 25 seconds left to go. He's just going to dump this one off to Howard, who's going to turn it upfield. He gets across midfield. Some nice blocks are set up, and Desmond Howard is gone. Touchdown, Grizzlies. 68 yards, almost all of it coming after the catch there. Just a bad job by, I think that was Brock Eugene who was covering him, who just let him go, and the rest is history there. That will take us to halftime, and that will cut into the Bobcat lead. We were up by 11, but now we're up by just 4. The Bobcats will get the football at the beginning of the third quarter now, picking up 3 yards on first down. Stevens gets out of the sack here, rolling to his right. He's going to run for whatever he can get, and that is a lot better than taking a sack there. Third and 2. Stevens to throw. He's got time rolling to his right. He can't run it, so he's going to fire downfield. Caught by Vince Robinson. What a catch by the running back. What a throw. What a play in general. Some decently tight coverage, but Stevens able to get it out to his running back after the Grizzlies put a spy on him. That's going to put us all the way up to the 30-yard line now. His pass on first down will be knocked away, though, looking for Lane. Montana State facing a third and 10, now throwing to the left side. Bobbled and caught by Ben Collins. The tight end has come up clutch a couple of times today now. He does have that one drop. He almost dropped this one here, but instead he's going to put us inside of the red zone. 
Now Stevens is under some pressure. He's going to try to run it, but Robinson won't get out of the way there. And that will allow the Grizzlies to get a sack. Second and 10 now. Stevens looking to throw. He's going to try to dump it off to Robinson, but no one was really open on that play. Now it's third down. Stevens pressured, rolling to his right. Fires to the end zone, and he's lucky that that pass wasn't picked off. Jason McMillan's going to come out for this 29-yard field goal. Attempt it is up and good, and the Bobcats will now take a touchdown lead. That took up exactly half of the third quarter. Now the Grizzlies are going to have the football. They try running it, but he's going backwards. On second down, they're going to run the football now with Smith. It's an option play, and he's going to pick up about six or seven yards there. Third and five for the Grizzlies. They have yet to convert today, and that trend is going to continue as that pass was very inaccurate. And once again, this defense holds them to a three and out. Our run game isn't doing a whole lot, though, as we lose three yards there. Now Stevens to throw the football. What are you doing? The pass is going to be intercepted by Peterson. He threw it directly to him. No. Throw that to the left, and Larry Lane has an easy first down. Instead, he tried to lead him downfield, which results in an interception. Oh, man. And his inaccuracy is going to hurt us again. Montana trying to take full advantage of the turnover. They're not going to there, though, as the pass is going to sail out of bounds. Wheeler throws to the right side. Smith makes this catch inbounds, but only for about a yard or two. Still yet to convert on third down today. Wheeler's got time in the pocket, going for six, and he's got him. Touchdown, Desmond Howard. One-on-one -on -one with Brock Eugene, and he gets the best of them there. A beautiful throw and catch. Both quarterbacks in today's game have been pretty inconsistent when it comes to accuracy, but they've also hit their fair share of passes today. Speaking of inaccurate passes, there's one looking for Ben Collins. Second down now, the pressure's in his face. He puts it right on the money for Lane, and when he puts it right on the money, you've got to catch it because he doesn't always do that. Third down on the move, he's got Ben Collins, a great diving catch by the tight end, who's possibly having his best game of the season now. Just one quarter of football left to play in the with the biggest rivalry in the state on the line. Nine yards on first down, it's a nice run by Robinson. Now Stevens airing it out for Lane, and he's not going to get it, as he's been du double covered a good chunk of today's game. Stevens rolling to his right. He could try to throw it to Anderson, but he's just going to take the sure thing and get the third down conversion with his legs. Play fake now. Stevens wants to throw. Going for it all on this one. And the pass is going to be picked by Luke, the safety there. Once again, double man coverage on Larry Lane. I still thought he could beat them, but instead the pass is going to be picked off. That's going to be Stevens' second interception of the game. The Bobcats also have an injured offensive lineman there, but I don't believe it's too serious and he should return to the game shortly. Nice sack for Max Lloyd on first down. It's going to make it second and long. Trying to go deep here and too far. Thomas Spicer on the coverage. Just one for five on third down today. Wheeler looking to throw. Floating this one to the right. And the pass is going to be broken up by William Jackson. And they're going to go three and out after getting the pick. Vince Robinson, he didn't have a good first half, but he's having a nice second half now. He's going to pick up about, I would say, 15 yards on first down. Now Stevens is going to be pressured, fires off his back foot, and he's trying to get it out to Curtis Brown, who gets smacked and can't make the catch. Running it with Boyd, and he's going backwards there. That's going to make it third and 13. The Bobcats looking to convert here. Stevens is under some immediate pressure. He's going to stop, turn around, fire downfield, and it's going to be caught. Martin Anderson inside of the five-yard line. Big-time catch by the slot receiver there. Mr. Reliable for us. First and goal. Once again, Stevens wants to throw. Wide open touchdown, Ben Collins. And with just two minutes, seven seconds left in the game, the Bobcats recapture the lead. It's going to be 24 to 17 now. All right, can the true freshman lead his team downfield for a game-tying drive? Wheeler to take off and run. Nasty spin move there, and he gets out just shy of the 45-yard line, showing off his great athleticism. 
Less than two minutes left to go. They're going to go five wide. Wheeler's got time in the pocket, moving around in it. Fires downfield into heavy traffic, and the pass will fall incomplete. On second down, now he looks to throw the football again, this time quickly to the right side for Cook. Some nice toe drag swag picks up five yards. Now looking to convert on third down. They're not going to get it as Wheeler is going to be sacked for, I think that's the fourth or fifth time today. This time Pat Hadley getting in on the action. They've got to go for it on 4th and 12. Wheeler looking to throw to the right side, and he's got Jenkins for a 4th down conversion, keeping the game alive now for Montana. In Bobcat territory now with less than a minute left to play. Brandon Wheeler wants to run it, but he's only going to pick up 2 yards. Nice tackle by Nick Brown. Once again, spreading things out. In the pocket, he's going to throw this to the right side. Jenkins, he got a foot in bounds, and they're all the way down to the seven-yard line. Goal to go now for the Grizzlies. Wheeler wants to throw yet again. He's going to go back across his body, and that's going to be incomplete as he was out of bounds. Second down, it's a play fake, and he lost the football. Kirkpatrick with the strip sack, but the Grizzlies are going to jump on top of it. They did lose three yards there. It's third and goal. No, they've just converted on third down once today. And the pass is dangerous, and it's going to fall incomplete. Fourth and goal, and of course, they're, they've got to go for it. Wheeler looking to throw. Now he's looking to run for it right up the middle, and he's not going to get it. The Grizzlies only have one timeout left, so that should do it for this game. Marked just one yard shy of a touchdown, and this Bobcat defense is going to hold. All we have to do is run out the rest of this clock, and that's what Vince Robinson's going to do. A big run, his biggest of the ball game so far. I was fully prepared to take that for six and just run up the score. They did get the stop on him, though, but we are going to win this game 24-17 off of our two game losing streak now back to our winning ways in the most important game of the season outside of I guess our bowl game uh, which I believe we, we should be getting a bowl game of course with a 10-2 and two record a great win today this was a really fun game it probably shouldn't have been as close as it was but you know just based off of our last two games I'm just glad we got a victory here Larry Stevens had a very Larry Stevens type game he had big yardage he had two touchdowns he also threw two picks and was under 50% we didn't run the ball a whole lot today, but a lot of that was because more or less passing the ball worked. Ben Collins played his best game of the season. He caught himself a touchdown. Anderson had 73 yards. Larry Lane ha almost had two touchdowns in this game. He came up with some big catches here. The offensive line had one of their better games of the seasons, I would say. Uh, we did get in the backfield a lot, whether it was a tackle for loss or a sack. We had five sacks. We didn't get any turnovers, though. Unfortunately, Josh Johnson has committed to Purdue, so he's not going to be coming here. And same goes for Travis Thompson. So we went after a bunch of guys with the in-season recruiting, but ended up only getting one in cornerback Eddie Fine. Looking at some other action inside of the conference this week, Northern Arizona gets a big win over Eastern Washington, who now is on a four-game losing streak. Sacramento State lost just for the second time this season. Idaho blew them out. They were number 22, but of course, after losing like that to Idaho, they are not there anymore. And after, actually, after this game, we are going to be moving back into the top 25 at number 25. And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, this has been Jeffrey reminding you to stay moist.